and then seven summers. This one is so cute. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd start a new vlog today because yesterday I finished up this big project that I've been working on at work. So I actually ended up taking today off because the past like week and a half has just been brutal work-wise and working a lot of hours and just like using my brain. <laughs> A lot and I just felt like I needed to unplug for a full three-day weekend so I can kind of like reset and be ready to tackle the next project when I go back on Monday thankfully I was able to do that with no issues so I have a free day today Josh has been going into the New York office on Fridays so he is not around today and was not able to take the day off with me but I have like a pretty fun itinerary planned for myself today I'm going to be accomplishing a few things and exploring the city a little bit and I just thought it'd be fun to take you along with me the agenda for today is is I'm gonna get out of the house now and head across Central Park over to the Upper East Side and I'm going to go check out Ralph's Coffee which is this kind of iconic coffee shop that's located within a Ralph Lauren store and I haven't been there before. My parents and my brother and his wife are coming to visit at the end of this month. We were thinking about taking them there and so I kind of wanted to scope it out ahead of time and just like see if it is a good place to take people. I don't know how big it is and like how much seating there is and stuff like that so I figured I'd go check that out, get a yummy coffee, also just have have a nice walk in Central Park and then after that I'm going to go to Home Goods. I have a few items I need to pick up because my brother and his wife are actually staying with us when they come to New York and sleeping on an air mattress in our living room and so I ordered um, an air mattress way back on Black Friday and also a duvet insert but I need to get like a duvet cover and some extra towels. Um, I, I feel like there was something else as well. I have a whole list and then I'm gonna come back and like do a little test run setup of the air mattress just to make sure that it's comfortable to sleep on. I want to know that now if not <laughs> and then I'm pretty much gonna spend the rest of the afternoon editing I have a couple videos that I still need to edit for you guys that I have filmed and not edited yet so I'm gonna do that and the goal that I set for myself with this video which I'm filming on March 1st is that I will get it out before the end of March so I'm trying to like implement some goals for myself because I feel like that helps motivate me to edit because once I'm done editing a vlog I always am super satisfied and I'm glad that I did it but but it's the problem is just getting myself to do it in the moment in the evenings when I'm tired from work and I don't really feel like it but if I have some kind of like timeline in mind that might help motivate me in those moments so that I can keep putting out content without getting behind which is stressful for me so that is my goal for this video you will be able to see if I accomplish that or not anyways I'm pretty much ready to go it's pretty cold out today it is March 1st but it's like I don't know 40 42 degrees outside or something the past few days in New York have actually been quite warm and rainy. We actually had to sleep with our AC on one night because it was so warm in our apartment. Although that is partially due to the heat which we have zero control over. But today is freezing cold and sunny. Beautiful and sunny, no rain so can't complain. But yeah, bundling up a bit. I wanted to show you this fun little present that I got for Christmas from my sister-in-law. She gave me these five sample size perfumes from Dime, which I have been wanting to try for quite some time because their thing is like they, they make more natural, like not toxic perfumes. I really like these and I think this is such a cool idea for like a present for anyone because buying perfume for people can be hard like if they don't like the scent like it's kind of hit or miss you know but if you do something like this with the little samples then it's nice because they have all these different options so anyways i got don le bois which is like kind of their iconic scent that i love tuesday date night this one was actually created by a creator i follow called abigail marie green it smells amazing honestly i love all of them this one's i love your smell baby and then core memory which to me smells like one of those like victoria's secret body sprays from junior high and then seven summers which is the one i think i'm gonna wear today it's been my favorite lately it's like a very very nostalgic but like not too strong scent that we're going with today so anyways would highly recommend these if you've not already subscribed to my channel you should definitely go ahead and do that because i think it's pretty cool hopefully you do too i'm so glad to have you here and that's it let's get going
coffee is pretty good. I will say it was very busy, but honestly, I think it's worth it. It's really, really cute. I am now headed to Home Goods. I'm trying to decide if I want to take the subway or walk, but anyways, that's our next destination. begin to express to you how lovely it is to walk around Central Park on a sunny weekday. It's not as busy. It's absolutely gorgeous, so peaceful. It's just like this slice of heaven in the middle of the city and I just cannot tell you how lovely it is. I hope that you all have the chance to experience this, whether it's a weekday or not. Just walking around Central Park on a sunny day. It, it's one of life's amazing experiences that you have to, you have to have. <laughs> is our favorite little nook of Central Park that we always, always walk in in the mornings. So I just want to make sure I film it <laughs> repeatedly so I can remember it. It's funny how the longer, I think you can see me, I feel like the sun is right behind me, but it's funny how the longer we're in New York, the more the Upper West Side feels like a little neighborhood and I don't know, I get like more and more used to everything being just like right next to us that when something is... <laughs> outside of the Upper West Side. I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's so far. And I was talking to my friends last night at happy hour about it because it's kind of funny, honestly, because when we live anywhere else where you drive, you know, you can drive like 20 minutes to the grocery store and that's like no big deal. Whereas here, if I have to walk more than 15 minutes somewhere, that feels like it's super far. <laughs> Your world just kind of becomes smaller, I think, because everything is so much more dense. That being said, I was also just reflecting on how much I absolutely love walking everywhere. It's so freeing because you just go out your front door and you can go anywhere you want in the city on your own legs. That's all you need, really. I totally spilled coffee all down my front earlier and I'm just now noticing.
completely struck out at home goods like not even a single solid black towel which is what i was looking for all of them were like black and white and i wanted just black and then the duvet covers first of all were like super hard to find because they're like mixed all in with the sheets which is not very helpful but then oh that's really good got this from whole foods yeah but then the ones that they had were just not not my style so that's a bummer but i did go to whole foods and i got these things that are good and then this bread which smells amazing it's you know how they have everything bagels it's like that, but bread. This is gonna be so good with avocado toast or for avocado toast. And then I also got some little tulips. I am honestly so exhausted now. This might be too big for my tulips. It might work. So I think I'm gonna go look on Amazon for the towels and duvet cover since I couldn't find them. I wanna buy them today because on the first of every month, one of our credit cards has double points. I'd like to take advantage of that. I think I'm too tired to set up the air mattress right now. I'll probably do that later this weekend. The next day, today is Saturday. I got my period last night, so I'm not feeling very great this morning, but we do have some fun plans today. Unfortunately, it is overcast and rainy outside, so not making me wanna leave the house a whole lot. <laughs> but we're going down to the Lower East Side to go to a place called Meow Parlor. It's a cat cafe. This was all Josh's idea. And I think it's actually the perfect thing to do on a rainy day when you don't feel very good. It's just like go hang out with the kitties and have pastries and drink coffee. I think that'll be really fun. We're doing that at 11 and it is 9.39 right now. So we'll probably head out um, relatively soon. We don't have anything going on midday, which will be nice to just relax because I'm not feeling super well. But then this evening we are going to see Dune 2 in theaters and we have not gone to a movie in the theaters in like years. So I think that'll be kind of a fun little outing. Josh watched the first Dune movie on one of our recent flights back to Seattle and he just like absolutely loved it. And then we watched it together a couple weeks ago. I also loved it. So he suggested that we go see it and I think it'll be fun. But oh my gosh, going to see the movies is so expensive. I think it was $50 for the two of us, just regular. Like I looked into doing IMAX and that was even more. I remember the days when it was literally $10 <laughs> to go see a movie. What? That was a long time ago. So yeah, this is not something we'll probably be doing frequently. Oh, last night we watched this movie called Arrival that is streaming on Peacock. It was so good. It's based off a book. I need to go back and rewatch the credits because it said the name of the book that it's based off of. And I think I want to read it. it. It's about aliens, which not necessarily a genre that I'm usually super excited about, but it was just like very intriguing. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. And I think it really makes you think about the nature of time and our existence on earth, not in a sad way. <laughs> Anyways, if you're looking for a, a movie that'll make you think, also has a really nice, like fun plot line, you should check out Arrival. I'm gonna sit here, finish drinking my coffee, muster up the energy to put my coat on, and then we're off to see the cats.
up to date. Pretty sweet. serious over there. Oh, there we go. Can you see it? At least they were. Can you see his face? Huh? This one. Oh, he was looking at you for a second. Bagro mom. <laughs> She's trying to bait you into mm -hmm. petting her. She's like, oh, you want to fight? Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. See? She's like, oh. Oh, she's ready. <laughs> she's ready. Beautiful. Actually. What? <laughs> Sitting right by Josh. She seems to really like him, but every time he tries to pet her, she attacks him.
that was a thoroughly excellent time. We somehow managed to leave without adopting a cat. But my heart is very full and happy from that experience. Thank you, Ben. Good idea. And there's this little scruffy one named Rascal. Yeah. Who Jenny fell in love with. I'll see if I can like put their names next to them in the videos. What was Mama Mama Cat's name? Amelia. Robin. Oh, Amelia. Amelia, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that was the one that loved Josh, but also didn't want to be touched. <laughs> it was very cute. Anyways, we're headed home now because it is pouring down rain, so our little plan to walk around the Lower East Side a bit doesn't sound that fun. <laughs> we got sex and we are on our way to the movies and it's a perfect night for it. It is pouring down rain. everyone it is Sunday and I'm out in Central Park wasn't really feeling up to church this morning so I'm not feeling super hot so Josh and I just went on a little morning walk with our coffee and then he went off um, on 84th to go to church and I am just headed back north again to go home um, I think I'm gonna stop first on the way home at the UPS store and return some Amazon packages and then just go and watch church from home this is our ridiculous closet full of stuff which is actually, it's so nice that we're able to fit all this in here. But yeah, I had to take out all of Josh's shirts <laughs> to get to this. But yeah, this is where I've been storing. Um, this is the duvet cover, which I may or may not actually get into today, but this is the mattress. have decided not to open the duvet cover now because it is vacuum sealed at the moment which is very helpful for storing it so I think I'm gonna leave it in there my brother and his wife are actually coming to stay with us but I'm pretty happy with how the air mattress turned out I think it will not be too bad for them it does take up our entire living room of course but I did expect that so that being said I think I'm gonna bring this vlog to a close here it's been so much fun to share this weekend of my life with you we've had quite the array of activities I am feeling a lot more refreshed and ready for Monday tomorrow I'm really glad that I took that extra day on Friday to just have a me day and recuperate a bit from this project that I've been working on and feeling a lot better I'm grateful that you're here it's so much fun to share our life in New York with you and I especially love to see all your comments and answer your questions and things like that so if you liked this vlog make sure that you go ahead and like it and if you have not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that now so you can continue following along with us yeah I just love to share with you and I'm so glad that you're here so I will see you in the next vlog bye